friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe this very interesting surgery this is a cataract with very soft nucleus after the routine steps capsulorexis has been done now hydro dissection is done and the equator on the left side comes out of the capsular bag the lens tilts and in this case since the cataract is very soft since i cannot hold the nucleus i'm just going to eat it off from above downwards it is just i start eating off the lens from above and gradually go down the lens is tilted so there is no chance of catching the posterior capsule in a very short time the nucleus gets emulsified and disappears and now cortical cleanup is to be done I inject a bit of visco and now since i have made only one side port i use this simco cannula this is a 23g simco cannula for cortical cleanup i go through the side port to remove the cortex from the right side everything is fine till now and now the problem starts i notice a vitreous upthrust at this moment and as i try hydro polish of the posterior capsule the antechamber becomes almost flat i inject some visco and try to implant a uh, intraocular lens but the intraocular pressure is very high the eyeball is rock hard and the lens doesn't go in so the antechamber is almost flat and find that the eyeball is very hard the air bubble doesn't stay in the anterior chamber at this moment i decide to abandon the surgery postpone the surgery implant the intraocular lens after 2 3 days just clean as much visco as possible i don't go in just i remain near the main wound and use irrigation and aspiration whatever is go come because if i go in i am going to touch the corneal endothelium now after 3 days i take up the case again the main wound is opened by a sinski hook and now i inject visco my plan is not to use any fluid any vss before implanting the intraocular lens first i want to implant the intraocular lens then i want to do something else and now the anterior capsule and posterior capsule are in a position by this time so i want to separate the anterior capsular rim from the posterior capsule this is a plant chop and now i take a 
iris repositor and go all around sweep all around to separate the anterior capsular rim from the posterior capsule and now inject some more visco between the anterior capsular rim and the posterior capsule I take the iris repositor again go through the left side port and sweep superiorly so that the anterior capsular rim is separate from the posterior capsule I inject some more visco and now I inject the intraocular lens At this time the lens goes in easily both the haptics are placed in the capsular bag I check if it is in the bag or not it is there check the other side the other haptic is also in the capsular bag And now just remove the visco so whenever so this is a case of acute uh, rock hard eye syndrome which is because of fluid misdirection this is an outside in phenomena and in such cases it is always better to postpone surgery if we try to complete surgery at on in the first sitting we have to do a lot of extra maneuvers like purse plena anterior vitrectomy where there is a risk other risks like supracrodal hemorrhage so it is always better this is the first option and the best option to postpone surgery and take up the case after a couple of days I took this case after three days and see how easily the case has been managed we just have to convince the patient that it is dangerous to complete surgery in the first attempt and it will be much safer if we complete surgery at a later date after a couple of days or even after one week we can do this it is possible to separate the anterior capsule and posterior capsule easily even after one week thank you very much for your attention hope this helps